Hi, it's Elle here with Elle's Real Corner. Today we are talking about uh, the question posed is why are you dating? Um, hence, I'm pretty sure everyone has heard the term dating uh, with intentions. Um, today we're going to talk about why are you dating? A lot of times when people come to me for personal readings and I gather the situation, it's more so a situation of persons, said person did not go into the relationship, the friendship, whatever it may have been or is, um, they didn't go into it with set intentions, okay? Uh, they did not define what what their end game is or was. Um, so it led to frustration, headache, just drama, okay? So today we're going to talk about why are you dating? Pretty much dating is two different, it's only two choices. You're either dating for fun and friendship. You just, you know, it's um, not, not commitment. Uh, you're just out to meet new people. Just uh, gather as many friendships as you can possibly gather. And then also we have those who are pursuing long-term commitment. This is, they are in the, I guess you would say the market for, um, you know, a long-term commitment or at least cultivating that with another individual, okay? About 5% of you here, most, my demographic on this channel is mostly women. So I'm talking from, of course, I am a woman, a woman's perspective, and I'm talking to pretty much other women. So about 5% of you are going to be dating for fun and friendships. About 95% of you, you want, you are, you know, actively pursuing a long-term commitment. That's what you really want. And that's okay. Um, about 95% of you will go about pursuing long-term commitment by way of the measures of fun and friendships. So you won't really have a set intention, uh, strategy in order to pursue or uh, at least get to long-term commitment. Um, so in about 5% of you will pursue long-term commitment, you know, with the measure of, um, you'll, you'll pursue long-term commitment and you'll, you'll have real set intentions, about 5% of you. So it, it's kind of the adverse for the two. But anyhow, when you are dating, you need to determine what you're doing. If it is pursuing long-term commitment, be truthful and honest about that, hence the Ace of Swords. You need to be clear, um, definite, and what you're going after. And that's with the other party. That's with yourself, too. Um, don't be afraid to voice what it is you're really after. To say to um, a new person, a new guy, if asked the question, what, what are you looking for? Because that's pretty much the question posed to a lot of people. You would say, well, I'm looking to, to be in... Um, Firstly, a, a situation, a friendship, or at least I'm looking to meet people who are open to long-term commitment. Of course, that won't happen right off the bat, but this is what I am after, long-term commitment, whether that looks like boyfriend and girlfriend or we're, we're you know, running off and getting married, if that's the case. But I'm pre I would like to be dating someone who uh, is, is open to ex exclusive exclusivity <laughs> okay moving right along um yeah i had to throw the pen on that one anyway um that's what you would say <laughs> i can't get over it <laughs> Okay, so you want to date someone who is open to 
having an exclusive relationship, okay? It's you and them and not you, them, two other people, maybe another person on the weekend. I don't know. You just want to, you want to date people who are on the same wavelength as you in regards to dating, okay? Um, and you voice that and you can't be afraid to voice that uh, because... You're afraid of the person losing interest or you're afraid of losing this person or them not wanting, you know, them just, you're, you're afraid of loss or rejection and you can't be afraid of it. You have to look at that as the ace of swords. So what does the ace of swords tell, tell them? I can't talk worth shit today. What does the ace of swords tell us? It tells us that. We're going to be clear and definite in our communication, verbal and nonverbal. We understand that this will get us victory, what we're looking for, the outcome that we're desiring, but it is a challenge. So there, that's the, the Ace of Swords. The challenge is in being truthful, is in bearing your soul in, in regards to what it is you're really looking for. And the challenge may be that Okay, some people are with it, some people aren't. Take on the challenge. You got to look at it as it's a win-win. Whether this person continues to pursue you or they walk away from you, you won. Because the, the, in the walking away, that let you know that this person wasn't serious about pursuing anything with you. They didn't have real intentions. They respect the fact that you were open, honest enough uh, truthful with yourself and them to say I'm looking for and, and and you were able to voice that so they walked away uh, and then you also have those who stay which is good so it's like you're weeding out the ace of swords sometimes is that double-edged sword you speak the truth some shit's gonna get cut out off some people's gonna get cut off whatever it's a win-win for you because in the end you spoke your truth you were the ace of swords in the beginning. And this is what we lack a lot of times in the beginning. We just jump into, right? And we just start the doing. We we start, we want this, we want long-term commitment, but we go after it by way of fun and friendships. And yeah, I'll be your friend. And yeah, let's see where this goes. But you know that you want this. And that's not fair to yourself. It's not fair to the other person. You have to look at it as in the analogy of you know, school, university, we all know here in the States, maybe abroad also, uh, when you, when you enter university, it's about four years plus, depending on whatever you're pursuing, um, four years of, um, instruction, um, of going to class. And then at the end of those four years, you will gain a degree, diploma, certification, whatever it is, whatever it's termed for you um you know that right that's your end game is degree is certification um you have to look at dating just that way my intention is my end game my end goal is long-term commitment so i'm not going to go after long-term commitment lackadaisical or or uh you know just okay whatever happens and and absent-minded and no intentions and not setting boundaries i'm not going to do that because it's not going to get me where i want to go when you enter university you know that you have to go to class you know that you have to do the work you know why you're doing it because you want the degree you don't enter the university and you say oh well i don't know how this is going to turn out. Let's see where this goes. I'm open to the possibilities. Oh, I don't like titles. And I, I don't know. You don't go into university. You don't spend that kind of money and not know what your intentions are and what your end game is. And you have to look at dating, especially when you are trying to pursue. Um, when you are PLC, we'll, we'll use um, an abbreviation. When you are PLC, this is, you know, you go into it, sure, fire, okay? So, you stated your claim with this new person, okay? You need to ask, what are your intentions for dating? Now, 
You want to hear what the other person has to say. Now you've reduced yourself from the Ace of Swords, or you've kind of, you, you've not reduced, you've, um, you've uh, gone up from the Ace of Swords to the Page of Swords. Now you're inquisitive, you're curious, you're asking questions, you want to learn about what this person's intentions are in regards to dating. Not just you, because it's new and you guys have just met. But you want to know what their intentions are in regards to dating. You want to know if they, if they're FF boys, could stand for anyway, or if they are a PLC, if they're pursuing long-term commitment. You want to know. You're only going to know that. You're only going to know if they're FF or PLC if you ask the necessary questions. Page of Swords. You know what are you looking for? Now, if you get answers like. Uh, I don't know. Let's see where this goes. Um, I'm open to possibilities or, you know, I don't like titles or you just get it all together. I don't know. Please be, be very, um, aware that 99% of the time, if you get answers like this, uh, this will, this is going to be a waste of your MF and time. It's really going to be a waste of your time. I mean, 99% of the time when you get answers like this, okay? Just revert back to the analogy of university. If you're in university and someone asks you, okay, so in four years after d the degree, where do you see yourself? What are you going to be doing? What if, if you are getting answers like this to questions like that, right? People will be like, you're not serious about your, your career. You're not serious about your education. You're not serious about university. So you have to say that in dealing with this person. And you cannot be afraid to cut them out. Or at least you put them in the FF category. If you want to have some fun, do know that's all that they're offering. Please know that's all that they're offering. It's fun and friendships. They will waste your MF in time. If you are a PLC girl, do know this motherfucker will waste your time for real. Uh, apologize for the, the obscenity, but I'm trying to drive the point home. All right. Okay. And as a side note, and, and this is going to be relative to the person listening. Sex. Every I get the questions of sex sometimes. If you are a PLC girl, Wait as long as you see fit. Wait to have sex with this person for as long as you can hold out. Because you want to know them. You want to get to know them. You want to get to know their intentions. Yeah, you can have one conversation with them and they can tell you whatever the hell they want to tell you. To get you out of your underwear and into the bed. And then you end up 99%. This motherfucker is wasting your time, right? So wait as long as you can. Wait as long as you see fit. There is no real um, time frame on that. Six months, three months, the 90 day rule. I mean, you can do that. You may even find resonance in that. You may find that it works for you. Granted, do whatever you see fit. But you want to wait as long as you possibly can. Why? Because back to, um, let's say back to university, right? Um, you're, you're going through university. Maybe you're in your second year of university. That's how you look. Maybe you're in your first year. You're a freshman in university. You're very good at um, some athletic uh, sport, track or basketball or whatever. And now we have um, national league pursuing you in your first year as freshman. A lot of times you're going to get the good advice that no, don't go pro just yet. Wait, no, get to know yourself, um, strengthen your, your, uh, what is it? Strengthen your athletic abilities, uh, get your education, the pro, the league will be there, right? You need to look at that in regard. You need to take that same analogy and turn it into sex. If 
this is a relationship meant to be in your life. This is a connection meant to cultivate. Then sex is going to be there. You don't need to rush into it. And if sex is a determining factor in regards to why you should be with someone, then we have a bigger issue. This That's a whole nother video for you, okay? But wait as long as you see fit to have sex with said individual if you are a PLC girl. If you're looking for fun and friendships, hell, that you can do it whenever you want to. Five minutes of knowing the person, whatever. It's your life. But if you are a PLC girl, wait as long as you see fit. You want to get to know this person. You want to strengthen you want to strengthen the uh the relationship. The you want to cultivate a relationship just like the analogy of going pro and, and being in university. You want to uh, strengthen your athletic abilities. You want to get more education about your guy before you go, you go pro, you know, sex pro, basically. So just wait as long as you see fit. But this is strictly opinion. I don't feel like you should be having sex with the person the first night, the first week. Give it some time, okay? So you can get to know this person. And if this person is real about you and the intent of pursuing a long-term commitment, then they're, they're, they're willing to wait too. They're willing to wait too because they want to know what you're about. You could be batshit crazy. Okay? So a lot of guys want to wait because they, especially if they want something real, they don't know. They don't want to have sex with you that fast and then now you've caught feelings and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, that's a side note. Wait as long as you see fit. Okay. So, you, so you ask the person, are you, you, and you want to determine if they're FF or PLC. If you get these types, uh, type of answers, then you know that they're FF and they're going to waste your damn time. If you are PLC, if you FF too, then by means jump into it. Um, if you're PLC now, you need to go into screening. Okay. All right. So this person um, if they're PLC, excuse me, if you, if you find out that this person is PLC, they may have some, some of the same, uh, or similar, uh, responses to the questions of, you know, their intentions for dating. Like, yeah, I'm looking to, you know, uh, have a, a lasting relationship or meet someone of substance and see, and, um, you know, I'm open to commitment. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm really not dating that much, or, uh, I have people that I see, but there's nothing serious and I would like something serious. If you're getting answers like that, then you know that they're PLC. So now you need to go into screening because anybody can say those, those things, right? And get you all hot and bothered and say, oh, I think I found Mr. Right. Slow down. Slow down, Bessie. Um, now you need to go into screening. And this is why you wait for sex too. All right. So they say that they're, they're, they're PLC. They're pursuing a long-term commitment also. You need to check their communication. You know, um, most men, real men, not boys, not, you know, grown men who just wear men's clothing. Men, 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 men who have, have um, a level of success in their own life. Now, success is defined by is relative to the person. So, you know, everybody success level is different, but whatever you define su success is, um, they have a, a level of success in their life. They, um, they can take care of themselves. That's what real men are. You know, I, we can debate that all day. I'm ready. Real men can take care of themselves. Um, uh, real men are, um, are clear. They're mature. They're consistent. Because, or, or PLC men are anyhow, because they know what they're pursuing. They know the end game. Just as in university, you're going to be consistently doing your work, turning it in, getting better grades or getting good grades. You're going to be clear in your communication with your professor or study groups. You're going to act in some level of maturity because you know what you're after, right? Secondly, you need to screen their actions, okay? Um... Are they trying to spend time with you? Are they inquisitive about you and what it is you want in your life, what it, where you see yourself? Are they inquisitive about what you do? Do you have any hobbies? 
do they want to know you, learn you? Is there anything about you to learn? That's a whole nother video. I'll make that for you guys because a lot of you don't have any hobbies in your life. Your hobby is running after some man. That should not be the focus of your life. If it is, it makes you less attractive. It makes you less attractive to anybody. It makes you less attractive to your friend group. Your friends probably behind your back say, all she does is run after this man or that man or it's so, always some new man. Get a hobby. Occupy your time. Occupy your mind. There's a saying, an idle mind is the devil's playground. So be occupying yourself. Live life. Get out there. Uh, so anyway, that's another, that's another video. But anyway... Is this person inquisitive? Are they willing to meet others in your life? Are they willing to meet, you know, your friends, family? Are they willing to invest, okay? Also, you need to look at their character. This is why you wait. This is why you wait for sex because this is going to take some time. The screening process takes a little bit of time, right? And, and, and back to communication. When you communicate with this person, if you if you text this person or you call or however you communicate and you say, hey, there's a comedy show on Friday. You may be contacting them on Monday and you say, um, I, you know, do you want to go? Uh, I can get the tickets or whatever, however that you work it out or you let them know there's a comedy show you want to go to. Do they communicate with you on Monday? Preferably within a matter of an hour or two. Or are they communicating with you, getting back to you Thursday, Thursday night to say, okay, yeah, maybe I can hang out with you on Friday at the at the comedy show. It, that's a red flag. Okay, I, I contact you on Monday, sir. And now you contact me Thursday night. We don't even need to have a long, drawn-out conversation of how this is wrong. I'm just going to say, you know what, thank you for getting back to me. Uh, but... I, I already made plans. We're going to move on from there. Now either he's going to contact you and he's going to turn he's he's going to do a complete 180 and start putting in more effort or he's he's going to keep it where it is and you'll never hear from him again. But back to the ace of swords. That's fine because you stated your claim in the in the beginning. You're looking to pursue long-term commitment. And if this person can't even keep up with communication, in the in the screening process, then you know they were really an FF boy. That's what they were. And and you're weeding them out. You don't get too hung up on that. Don't start chasing after them. Don't I would I would give the advice of if I communicate with you Monday and you get back to me on a Thursday night, then you're not that interest interested. And I can't um I'm not in the process of of um being a, a peacock and trying to make myself uh, uh, attractive and, and and aware to you, I don't have time for that. If you if you are um, attracted, if you're interested, if you're pursuing a long term commitment, then communication will be just like I communicate with you. If you text me or call me, I will uh, make sure I'm back to you within the hour or the hours, two hours tops. Nobody in this day and time is not looking at their phone, even when they're on the job, unless they do some very structured work, construction work, or something of that nature where they are operating heavy machinery. Or maybe they're in a really strict environment where you can't have your any uh, media devices. You know who you're dealing with. That's very specific. But in this day and time, nobody is not looking at their phone from Monday to Thursday. Get the hell out of here. And that's okay because you just weeded yourself out. Great. Thank you, sir. So that's what you say to that. Secondly, uh, well, thirdly, because we went over actions, make sure they want to spend time with you. Make sure that they, they're asking questions about you. They're willing to meet others in your life. Uh, you also want that mirror or you want, excuse me, you want that window in from others. A lot of you women, you like to hide these relationships that you're in. 
You don't tell anybody about him. You don't want anybody in your life to meet this guy. You know why you don't want anybody to meet him? Either because you know he ain't shit, number one. Or number two, you ain't got shit. You got ain't shit people around you. So they wouldn't even tell you that he ain't shit, even if he is ain't shit. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? You have people around you that that would that don't even care about you, so they're not gonna give you good advice about him. Um or, or firstly, you know this person is wasting your damn time um, and you still are trying to be around them. So you don't bring them around anybody that you like or, or that knows you well because they would tell you. They pull you to your side. They say, friend or sister or brother, this person ain't shit. What are you doing? So, granted, uh, that, that was a side note to take these people around others. And, and make sure that they're willing to meet others. That That is a true measure of uh, someone want, wanting to pursue you in some type of long-term commitment. Number three, character. So character is, um, is historical reference of a person's uh, personality traits, right? So, so you need to, so this is another reason why you need to wait. You need to screen them. You need to look at, you need to ask questions about past relationships. What was the time frame on past relationships? Um, have they ever been in a long-term relationship? You want to ask the questions of why and how. Why, why did the relationship end? Who ended it? How did it end? Are you still good friends? Are you arch enemies? What happened? Because this is going to give you historical reference of this person's personality traits, right? Of how they operate. Um... You also, uh, like, okay, for example, if this person says, well, you know, most of my relationships, quote unquote, only last three to four months, then that tells you that this person is not even serious about cultivating anything real, or they can't, or there's an inability to. So then you need to go into your your uh, sto your brain and say, okay, maybe this, there's something funny or funky here. Uh, I'll try to figure this out. But if this person can't even have a long a relationship longer than three to four months, it might be the issue might lie with this person. Okay, that's the same. The analogy of a person who job hops, you know, they're at one job three months, another job two months, one job one month, another job five months. Um, they're, they're all over the place. That says that this person has no direction. They don't. They they're not loyal. They're not willing to put the time in. They, they're not PLC. They may have said that they were PLC to you, but they're not. Okay? So you, you have to you have to be analyzing. You have to analyze his life. If he has children, how are how is he with his children? Does he have a relationship with his children? This is a big pet peeve of mine. Women that get with men who don't take care of their children, don't see their children, don't care for their children, don't, hell, some of them even know the children's name. Um, that's a big red flag. That's a big indicator. Okay, that's a bit, that's very indicative of a narcissist, of someone who has maybe even some underlying mental issues. This is a, that's a big red flag. When you don't care for your offspring, okay? You can't get, don't get with this man expecting PLC. Please expect fun and friendship. Right, and you so might I even want to throw in money there. Anyway, now not that he's going to give you money, no, you're going to probably pentacles. end up giving him money. Okay? So this, now there's a very you're looking big at this specific that this person who is something is, wrong. Right? So once again, with care, you're going to determine if this is worth you trying to investment. get to know him by way of What's the, the ROI on this? Character. Are you going to get a okay? return? So you want to know his character? Of, of so in all of that screening, time, energy, love, emotion, maybe even some uh, money. Money could be we're going to take a trip together. You pay half or he pays half or just dating all together. You know, um, are you, are you willing to invest in this person? Should you be investing in this person? You need to ask yourself, will this, or can this turn into the 10 of pentacles? Will this relationship eventually give me the 10 of pentacles, a long-term commitment? You're going to know that by way of having screened 
this person, okay? And then, you know, big, big, big deal here, guys. Especially for the women. Do not get with these guys. Do not get with the FF guy. The fun and friendships guy. And think that you can change his mind. Or think that you'll change his mind. He stated who he was in the beginning. He didn't, he didn't necessarily say, oh, I'm a friend and friendship guy. But... He let you know by way of his aunt, by how he answered cer certain questions when you asked questions. This is my another big pet peeve of mine. When I get people on the phone, when we're going over dating situations, when we're going over relationships, I'm always asking, well, did you ask him? No. Well, did you ask him this? No. Please start asking questions, ladies. This is 2020, basically. Do not be afraid to ask questions questions don't be afraid that this person's not going to want to talk to you anymore or he's going to look at you as clingy or or wanting a relationship well ain't that what you want okay then and if he's not willing to give it or at least be on the way to giving it get him out of your life you have to firstly be the ace of swords with yourself be clear and concise with yourself all right but anyway do not get with the fun and friendship guy and think that you will change his mind. Okay? Because let me tell you what's going to happen with the fun and friendship guy. First of all, it's a devil choice. The devil. We, what does the devil tell us? It says, your life is changing either for the good or for the bad, depending on the choice that you make. Make sure you do not choose or make a choice that will lead you to a dead end or feeling in trap, closed in a situation. Okay? With the FF guy, if you're a PLC girl, you're going to be in a dead end with this person. They're not going to give you what you want. It's not going to turn out in your favor. It's a devil choice. Make sure you know that. The devil doesn't just jump on you. You don't walk down the street and then the devil energy jumps on you. No, it's a choice. So do not get with the FF guy and think that you can change his mind. Look, you say, yes, I can. I can change his mind. Let me tell you how you can change his mind. It's going to take years. He's going to fuck the shit out of you for years. And y'all going to have that type of relationship and then eventually one day, he'll wake up and say, you know what? I do like her. I might even love her. But it's been years of chasing this guy. Do you want that? If you want that, if you're signing up for that, go right ahead. The FF guy has stated his claim in the beginning. Do not get with this guy thinking that you'll be able to change his mind within a matter of months. It could take years for somebody to wake up to your value because you devalued yourself by allowing them to play with you, to have fun and friendship with you when you know you wanted PLC. And they're not stupid. They know what they're doing. They know that you devalued yourself. So yeah, go right ahead. For those women out there up for the challenge, because hell, this is a challenge. And I'm not talking at you. I'm talking with you. So I've been here. Don't choose the FF guy and think, oh, I'm going to change his mind. Yeah, years later you will.